All right then, here we go, eh? I had a couple friends tell me on my last video I did this backwards. So, uh, rather than put power into the five kilowatt pig and pull it out of the 10 kilowatt transformer, we're gonna do it the other way around. So you can see we've got our variac on this side, we've got our load, our light, and our saw on that side. Switch is still in the middle to turn it on and off at the high voltage side. We're coming out of the wall, 220, wander over this way, you know, cut, 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 come into my variac stack uh, so I can, you know, trim the voltage a little bit. Uh, get, get, got my on off switch that if I let go of it, you know, will be okay. Uh, dead man switch. And we're going to be putting power into my 10 kilowatt pig. Uh, come out of that. We have this uh, big on off switch for the high voltage. And just so I can turn off uh, the secondary side, the, the 5 kilowatt transformer. Going to come out of the 5 kilowatt transformer. Go to this plug here. And we're going to plug in either, either, either my light or I'll unplug it at one point in time, put on the saw to have a bigger load. Uh, have these two meters. The one on this side is going to be looking at the 5 kilowatt pig, gets the voltage from that. And it's got some little in inductor there to monitor the current going through there. Same thing on the big side. How much power we're taking out of the wall, coming, th coming down this red wire, going through the inductor. That's to, to sense, and so the meter can see that. And of course, the meter's getting its voltage off this plug to, to, to run the thing. So that's going to be the experiment. And we'll set this meter up here. And get a little tighter focus in on the thing. All right, then. Energize it up. Give it a second to come come together. You can see that to energize the the 10 kilowatt transformer, it's reading you know 52, 47. So say, you know, and of course it's 0 0.050 kilowatts. So that's saying it takes about 50 watts to energize. That uh, bigger pole, pole transformer, the 10 kilowatt side, and of course it's drawing 0 0.25 amps out of the wall. Uh, that that equals 0 0.26 kilowatt hours, and we're putting 234.6 volts into that side. Uh, showing nothing here because we've got our toggle switch show op opened up, uh, so you can see 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 see. See me do it here. We're going to turn on our, our big switch. Go back here, focusing on, on my meters then. Re energize. Give it a chance for everything to reset. Now you can see that we, since we've got this other side in here, uh, we're, 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 it looks like we're taking 89, 90, 95, 91, 90. So it's taking about about 90 watts of power to energize that transformer, uh, the core on it, um, and of course it's energizing the the five kilowatt pig, uh, which is putting out a little, little bit of power, making making 117 volts on 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 this side, zero amps coming out of it really, just enough to run the run this this meter itself. So. That's a significant number. Now we're going to turn on a 100 watt light bulb. You can see 96, 98 watts, or kilo, you know, watts, um, 0.82 amps. And you see down here th this kilowatt and amperage in increased. Turn the light back off. These numbers went down, these numbers went back to zero. We'll do that again for you so you can get, get, get all those numbers. Lights on. Uh, 
and lights back off. Give it a second to reset. Okay then, turn that off. Let me unplug the light. Plug in the cut off wheel saw. Okay, energize the whole thing again. And that's to show both cores energized. Now we're gonna turn on the uh, saw, bigger load. And there you go. Turn off the high voltage to the 5 kilowatt transformer and turn off this one. Well, there you go then. We'll post these results. And uh, this is power in off the grid into, into the 10 kilowatt transformer and then out of the uh, 10 kilowatt uh, feed, feeding the five and converting it back down to a lower voltage to something we, we can use and the associated numbers with it. So after talking with Gerard, this is the way he's saying to do it. Feed power into the big transformer, pull it out of the little transformer. We'll discuss this on the forum, I'm sure. Thanks a lot.